What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more AFL Evolution 2 news to talk about. Now for those of you who don't know, pretty much the AFL Evolution 2 team did finally decide to reveal the official release date and game cover of AFL Evolution 2. After all of this long way, they also decided to put out quite a bit of information that I read like maybe an eighth of it or something in the uh, original video that I did. And I did say that I was going to be talking about the rest of it in a different video. So yeah, here it is pretty much. They go on to say, uh, powered by Epic's Unreal Engine, AFL Evolution 2 will give fans a vastly improved gaming experience, including enhanced graphics and multiplayer modes. The new version will also feature AFL star and Carlton co-captain Patrick Cribbs on the front cover of the video game. The two-time All-Australian player said there was an order to be included in the artwork for AFL Evolution 2. Being selected to appear on the cover of AFL Evolution 2 is pretty cool, Cripps said. A lot of the boys at the club are getting into their gaming, so no doubt there will be some competitive battles along with plenty of banter to go with it. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. AFL licensed True Blue Entertainment is in conjunction with Wicked Witch Software in the final stages of production of AFL Evolution 2, with the game to be available on selected consoles including PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, and Steam to come later in the season. So, this is the final, you know, confirmation. I do guess that this game will be coming on PC again. I was kind of confused why it is not originally on PC. I mean, they've still got a lot of work to do. You know, they're going to get this out on Xbox One, they're going to get this out on PS4, but then now because they're not getting on PC straight away, they're, you know, not only going to have to get it on PC, but they're also going to potentially, which we don't know, is also get it on the new next generation consoles, which are Xbox Series X and PS5. Now, for those of you who don't know about these consoles, they will most likely be coming out, both of them, at the end of the year. They're the, you know, highly anticipated upgraded consoles to the PS4 and Xbox One. And yeah, obviously, now they have a massive, you know, choice to make on whether or not they immediately start production on AFL Evolution 3, or they pretty much, you know, have maybe half the team working on AFL Evolution 3, and, you know, a little, a, a small amount of their team potentially working on AFL Evolution 2 for the Xbox Series X and PS5, which I will imagine is what they will do, because it would be a very bad thing, I would think, to not have it on the next generation consoles, because they will be coming out, you know, less than a year after this game does eventually come out, and I'd say the next one would probably be coming out two years after this, most likely, so, you know, they could get a lot of funding as well if they did put it on the next generation consoles because a lot of people would buy them on the next generation consoles and all of that type of stuff. And I think, yeah, again, it would be really cool to potentially get on the console. I definitely think I would, and I know a lot of people would as well. And yeah, they would get quite a bit of sales on that, which would mean more funding for their next game, which they could hire more staff and all of that type of stuff. So that's why I think it'd be, you know, really interesting if they didn't put it on the next generation consoles. And also, yeah, they've announced it will be coming on Steam, which is good because, yeah, obviously, you know, there are certain other things they could have potentially put it on, like, you know, the Epic's game launch up, which has a pretty good bond with Unreal Engine, but yeah, obviously, it's coming out on Steam, which, again, is probably the preferred um, place to buy PC games for a lot of people, so, yeah, again, in my opinion, that is, uh, I'd say that is pretty cool, and yeah, I think it's definitely going to be, hopefully, it doesn't come out, you know, hopefully, it doesn't take too long to come out on Steam, it shouldn't be exactly too long, but yeah, they also pretty much, you know, as well go on to say that fans will once again have the opportunity to choose from their favorite players with both the uh, AFL Premiership season and the AFL Women's Competition in AFL Evolution 2 with the latest version of the game undergoing an extensive process to recreate likely, uh, likeliness of the game's elite level stars. AFL General Manager Commercial Kylie Ro uh, Rogers said that the latest version of the video game will provide Vans with another av avenue to connect with Australian football. We're delighted to launch the AFL Evolution 2, which will build upon the successes of its predecessor and deliver enhanced AFL video game experience to our fan, uh, Ms. Rogers said. The AFL is committed to making Australian football accessible for everyone to enjoy the digital platforms such as AFL Evolution 2. It's just one way that we can engage from our fans to strengthen the connection with our game alongside the improvement either playing or watching or officiating the sport. The release of the new AFL Evolution 2 has been highly anticipated, so I'd like to thank True Blue Entertainment and Wicked Witch Software for their efforts in bringing the next installment to life. 
AFL Players Association General Manager Commercial Marketing and Communications, Rebecca Chitty, I think it says, I uh, said players are looking forward to the launch of AFL Evolution 2 just as much as fans. The players are excited for the release of AFL Evolution 2. We know that um, we know the game is a popular pastime among the players and they love being featured in the game, Miss Chitty said. Players are, you know, committed to working with the industry to find new ways to engage fans and grow our existence audience, gaming presence, and an excellent opportunity to achieve this growth, and we're, you know, confident fans will love the, uh, this product. True Blue Entertainment Managing Director Sebastian, uh, I, I think it's Giampolo, I think, I've got no idea, spoke about its new release. It's always exhilarating to see the project uh, reach, you know, fruition, but, but AFL Evolution 2 is something really, uh, you know, above the rest. This new gameplay will make it incredibly compelling. A programming team has been working extremely close with the AFL to give AFL Evolution 2 the most authentic footy experience and take sport gaming to a whole new level. AFL Evolution 2 will be packed with many new features and additions, including a facelift to the uh, communi uh, commentary box, including Anthony Hudson and Gary Lyon, who will take over from Dennis Committee and Matthew Richardson. So, I find that really odd that they didn't also bring back Dennis Committee and Matthew Richardson. I thought, you know, yes, they could have brought in two new commentators, but it would be really, you know, awesome if they just still use the same as Dennis Committee and Matthew Richardson's line as well. So we don't just have two commentators, we have four. And then maybe if they needed to reshoot some lines, they just brought back Committee and Matthew Richardson as well. So in my opinion, that's a little bit odd. I kind of thought that would be the more interesting way just, I guess, to have all four, but I guess that's not really the route they've decided to go. The number of AFL venues included will be uh, will increase to 16 with the introduction of highly detailed representations of Ballarat's Mars Stadium, um, Toyo Traeger uh, Park in Alice Springs, Hobart's Blundstone Arena, and yeah, a couple more here and there as well. The game will also feature the VFL, SANFL, Waffle, NEFL, and NAB League competitions. AFL Evolution 2 will be on sale via download through leading via, um, you know, video game uh, retails and selected AFL channels. Further details will be released, um, you know, in the coming week. So, they've yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that they have kind of released here. Again, we do have some more information, I guess. We know that there are going to be quite a bit of new multiplayer components. We know that, you know, potentially it coming on the next generation console, even though they didn't really mention it. I would assume, you know, because they're going to be releasing it on Steam later, Steam will most likely have updated graphics and all of that type of stuff due to the fact that, you know, PC usually has obviously way better hardware. So maybe they don't want to release it on Steam just yet because they're waiting still to improve the hardware and they're going to be working on that quite a bit. This could be, you know, graphics, gameplay improvements with AI and all that type of stuff. And then those improvements could also translate to the next generation consoles in Xbox Series X and PS5. So in my opinion, that is pretty cool. And again, they have confirmed that it will be coming out on Steam rather than, you know, something like uh, Epic Games Launcher or, you know, something like that. So, you know, in my opinion, that is pretty cool that they have decided to do that. Again, it's really cool that Patrick Cripps, you know, he, he they've, kind of, you know, they've spoken to him about him being on the cover. I would assume they're going to do quite a bit of advertising potentially with Patrick Cripps. Now, again, for those of you who haven't seen it, Patrick Cripps is the official, you know, he is the uh, guy pretty much on the cover. Then they've also got the banner that they did decide to release with the other three players. It looks like they're going to potentially decide to market pretty heavily as well, which is Charlie Cameron, Dustin Martin, and Jeremy McGovern, which they've decided to put on their banner on their social medias. Um... Again, it is on their, you know, Facebook page and all that type of stuff, which is pretty interesting. You know, the release date, again, which is a confirm for those of you who didn't know, is going to be the 23rd of April in 2020. So, yeah, again, that's really cool that, there, you know, it is going to be quite a bit. Again, some f people are talking about so many new features, again, that a lot of people would very much like. For example... It's, a lot of people are going to want old teams, you know, retro teams and all of that type of stuff. And I think they're going to be releasing AFL Evolution 2 on the perfect time. Because for those of you who didn't know, pretty much sports all around the world have kind of been cancelled or postponed. Uh, AFL has not been cancelled or postponed. They will be playing um, round one, except there won't be any fans there or anything like that. So again, for the time being, it's still on, but it could also get postponed slash cancelled. So... Again, I think they're releasing this game at literally the perfect time because everyone's really dry for more sports and all that type of stuff. Thirsty for more sports, rather. And again, 
A Full Evolution 2 is a video game coming out at this time, so I guess it will potentially try and satisfy, you know, everyone who's been craving some more uh, sport going on. And, yeah, I, I'm, I'm obviously extremely excited for this to come out. And, yeah, again, I think they're releasing it kind of on the perfect day. And, yeah, they've kind of followed really suit with a other you know, games across the world where pretty much, you know, Madden will usually decide to have a young player who is potentially the best in the league to try and, you know, put on their cover. 2K usually does a similar thing. They have Anthony Davis on theirs this season. And then you've got, you know, AFL Evolution 2 will have Patrick Cripps, who's obviously one of, the, arguably the best young player in the AFL at the moment. But anyway, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest AFL content, AFL Evolution news, and all that type of stuff. I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this new con you know, content and news that they have decided to share with us. Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on it all down below. And yeah, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlog channel. Links for them are in the description down below. And yeah, also, don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for that are in the description down below as well. I talk about NBA, AFL content, all that type of stuff on there. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.